everyone, Mike here with Prehistoric Magazine. Now, in my hand here, I have the physical copies of Prehistoric Magazine. As stated, I run a free publication released three times per year. But if you think you'd like to take a look at some of these physical products, they're down in the description section down below. They do cost. They're a little bit expensive because printing is expensive. But if you'd like to take a look at physical copies of Prehistoric Magazine, down in the description section down below. Now, if you'd like to subscribe for free, the link in the description section is also down there, completely free, Prehistoric Magazine delivered to your email inbox three times per year. Now, one of the great things about Prehistoric Magazine and this YouTube channel in general is it gives me the chance to ask questions that we might not necessarily see in kind of mainstream stuff. You know, topics that I think are interesting and that have not gotten the attention that they deserve. And today, you know, this idea of could Quetzalcoatlus eat and swallow a human being? Now, as per the Prehistoric Planet series, some of the paleontologists said that if this animal was around today, humans most definitely would have been on the menu. And I'll judge the success of this video by how many comments we get. I'm hoping to get a lot of comments from all of you, hearing about your thoughts, chiming in, yes or no. Love to hear from you at the end of this video. But could Quetzalcoatlus swallow and kill a human? Now, obviously, we've heard that the answer is yes. I believe that too just based on size alone. I mean, Quetzalcoatlus was a massive animal, 10-foot-long um, head. Um, the jaws were possibly 6 feet long, just massive. Um, staggering to think of something that big. And, you know, if you think about sharks today, we live in a world where there are sharks. And occasionally someone may get eaten. Um, last year there was a very unfortunate shark attack victim in Egypt where somebody was swimming out of the resort and they were just eaten by a tiger shark. Those are very rare, but they do happen. Um, if you go to uh, Australia or Africa, crocodile attacks are very dangerous and crocodiles are just something ripped straight from your nightmare in that they are known man eaters. But you know, the idea that both of these things have in common, sharks and crocodiles, is that they both live in the water. And as long as you don't enter their domain, you'll be okay. You know, it's possible you can run into a crocodile on land, but mostly you're going to be dragged down into the water. You're going to be killed, possibly a fisherman. Now, think about that again, a shark in the water, a crocodile in the water. But think about if Quetzalcoatlus or Hatsigopteryx, one of those, was still alive. Think about the danger that we humans would be in. I don't necessarily know if we'd be able to coexist with them because everywhere you are, as long as they were, if we think about them populating the whole world, you'd be fair game. If you were playing golf, it's possible you could be picked off. If you were out of the picnic with your family, it's possible at, at any given second, it could have been like that island scene that we see in Prehistoric Planet 2 where the small miniature dinosaurs are feeding. One minute it's a graceful, innocent scene, and the next these terrors from hell arrive high in the sky. Now that's about how I think things would play out. Sheer panic and terror would set in. You could be out at a picnic, and all of a sudden, uh, like a tsunami warning would be going off. You know, the pterosaurs are coming. So I think if they were still around today, we'd have a very difficult, scary, challenging time dealing with them. Based on size alone, they probably could eat us. Now, would they want to go for a full-sized human? Really, that's where you come in in this video. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this. Again, I believe that humans would have been on the menu. They could have killed and eaten a human. But would they wanted? Would they have wanted to go after a full-sized human? You know, I'm about 6'3", 180. I'm not the heaviest person in the world, but I'm also not the smallest person in the world. There are smaller people out there, smaller children. Now, my own personal thoughts are they would take some humans from time to time. I do believe that would have happened, but I think they would have gone after easier, more fair game. You know, much like a theropod, um, I subscribe to the belief that you know, from time to time, it's possible that theropods could have taken down a very large sauropod. But I think those were dire times, and more than likely, they would have taken down young, young sauropods. Now, think about this idea of Quetzalcoatlus hunting humans. Why go after an adult when there's plenty of smaller children? I believe smaller children would have 100% been on the fair menu. Um, you know, a child, maybe seven or eight, terrifying to think of something like that. I know we're getting a little bit hypothetical here, but again, this is the topic of this video. I believe that if they were still around, they would be hunting off, you know, middle school children. A uh, child eight or nine is much easier to handle 
and digest than probably a full-grown human. So, again, those are just my thoughts. Quetzalcoatlus, a massive animal. You know, fascinating to see this thing take off in the series. As big as a small plane, maybe around 500 pounds, you know, maybe 16 feet tall, possibly close to a 40-foot wingspan. Just staggering to think of something like that being alive. And like I said, I think if these animals were alive today, we would have to do some prior planning. We'd really have to know where they were. It'd be extremely dangerous because you'd never know when the attack could come from. It would come from the sky, and that would just be downright terrifying. You don't have to enter the ocean. You don't have to enter crocodile-infested waters. Anywhere could be fair game. It'd be completely terrifying. Brings me to the most important part of the video, your thoughts. Love to hear them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, really would appreciate you subscribing to Prehistoric Magazine down in the comment section. Thanks for all the support. See you in the next video. Take care.